Hey, this is Tom Osborne from tclandscape.com. Today I'm going to show you a new way to protect your plants from snails. Let's check out how it works. It just rained and there's two snails. That, <laughs> there's two snails that are trying to get past a snail fence. Uh, and the snail fence. Here's another one trying again. The snail fence is basically two wires and they're both um, aluminum, about 18 gauge wires. One end of one wire is attached to a 9 volt battery and the other end is attached to the other end of the 9 volt battery. And so when, <laughs> when, when something comes across that, those two wires, then the circuit's complete and there's a charge. Otherwise, the, there's no electricity going through it. And you can see these, uh, these snails are not, <laughs> looks like they're turning back. <laughs> awesome. And then here's another one. Looked like he lost his lunch on that deal. Persistent. So these two wires go all the way around the uh, flower box and they come to the housing area where I have a 9 volt battery and a light in there. And it's just a straight circuit. I'll put a diagram of it in the, on the website. But just two wires and one wire you can see this loop goes up here so it doesn't touch the other wire and another one here so it's just a simple circuit and when that circuit's complete you have electricity going through whatever you put on there and in this case a snail so it works really awesome and it's pretty simple the thing to, to remember though is when you're stapling these on there uh, you need to make sure that these staples don't touch each other because if they do then you'll make a complete circuit and that won't do any All right, good so you saw how it worked, pretty good. And now to explain how it works. I think a diagram is probably going to be the best way. And I'll start with a simple circuit, just so we're all on the same page. Now, in this case, a simple direct current, a DC circuit, starts with a battery of some sort. In this case, it's a 9-volt battery. And you have wires come off of it, and it makes a complete circle or circuit. And you can put something in that circuit, like a light bulb or a motor or something. And when this circuit is complete, then that device, that light bulb in this case, is going to light up. And in this diagram you can see that the circuit is now incomplete and the light turns off. So the snail is going to just crawl along right to the edge here. By the way, a snail is a really good conductor of electricity. But in this case, it doesn't matter how good of a conductor it is because it's not touching both wires. So it can be really close and nothing will happen. And the only time the charge is going to be coming through this conductor, in this case a snail, is when it touches both of these bare wires at the same time. And you can see now the snail gets the picture. So that's not really practical because as you can see in this picture here, the snail can just wander somewhere else. I mean, you have to have one of these everywhere in order for it to be effective to protect your plants. And snails being what they are, they will go where you don't want them to be. <laughs> so, what do you do then if you want to protect your plants? Well, you can encircle your plants with another wire. And in this case, it's not going to do anything, uh, even if this is bare wire, because the snail has to touch this wire here and this wire here at the same time. But they're just too far apart. So, you got to think of another way to make it happen. And that is pretty simple. You just do the same thing twice and you have one ring inside another ring. You separate them by, I don't know, half an inch or a centimeter or whatever. The, the key point to this though is you have to make sure that these two wires don't touch. Otherwise, you'll complete the circuit and then you'll wear the battery down and it won't work. So this point here is a little uh, archway. So this wire goes over top of this wire. And that's the only way this is, is gonna work. So here we have the snail. It went forward and zap. It touched both wires at the same time. It completed the circuit, the light's on, and the snail doesn't want to go any further. That's the system, pretty easy. So uh, now how do I make it happen? I use this, um, now it's gotta be an exposed wire that you use. And I use aluminum wire because it doesn't rust. In this case, I don't know if you can see this, 18 gauge wire is a good one to use. And I staple it down onto uh, the wood the flower box that surrounds my plants. I think that's a pretty easy way to do it. You can use a hand stapler or you can use an electric one, obviously faster with an electric stapler. The other thing to think about 
is to protect this area here. You have to, you know, it's going to be raining. You're not going to be around all the time. You, you got to protect the, the battery and maybe if you put a light in the system also from the elements. And so what I use is a food container to protect these two because they're designed to be watertight and they're cheap. So, you know, just get one that works for you. They come in all sizes, obviously. And you put your battery and uh, the light bulb, if you want, into that system. This is a 9-volt battery clip. So this would be in here, and you'd put it through a hole that you'd just pre-drill in, into there. Now, once you have that done, you basically created a, a defect or a weak link in the barrier against the moisture. So once you have the wires through here, just put some grease or anything that's going to be make it watertight into that area, and you are good to go.